What if a giant meteor was heading straight for Earth? Would we go full Dinosaur 2.0? Or would Bruce Willis finally get the sequel he deserves? Meteors hit Earth all the time, about 17 big. Enough to reach the ground strike. Every day, but most are tiny pebbles. That burn up in the atmosphere before you can say. Make a wish. But what if it wasn't a pebble? A football-sized meteor, called a bolide, lights up the sky with a boom and disappears. Harmless unless it lands on your car. A car-sized meteor, around 10 tons, slams into the atmosphere at 20 kilometers per second, delivering the force of several tons of TNT. Enough to shatter windows across a city and leave a crater. Now imagine something 50 meters across, the size of a Boeing 747. Remember the 2013 Chelyabinsk meteor? Only 20 meters wide. It exploded in the air with the force of 30 atomic bombs, injured 1,600 people, and shattered glass across six cities. Double or triple that size. And a 50-meter meteor could wipe a city off the map, flatten buildings for 30 kilometers, and hurl debris into the atmosphere, half a kilometer wide. That impact would equal hundreds of thousands of nuclear bombs. Tsunamis could swallow coastlines. Wildfires rage across continents, and dust would block the sun, creating an impact winter where crops fail, temperatures drop, and famine spreads worldwide. Life might survive, but civilization as we know it would collapse. No internet, no electricity, no supermarkets. 66 million years ago, a 10-kilometer meteor struck what is now Mexico, the Chicxulub impact, releasing energy equivalent to over a billion. Hiroshima bombs, forming a 200-kilometer-wide crater, igniting forests, stirring oceans, and covering the sky with dust and ash, killing the dinosaurs by collapsing the food chain. If such a meteor hit today, it wouldn't just destroy countries. It would reset the entire planet. A planet-sized meteor would obliterate Earth entirely, reducing it to debris orbiting the sun, much like how our moon formed when a Mars-sized object called Thea slammed into early Earth. But don't panic, NASA tracks over 30,000 near-Earth objects, and none threaten us in our lifetime. Dinosaur killer meteors are extremely unlikely, though smaller city busters are harder to detect, like Chelyabinsk, which is why missions like NASA's DART aim to nudge asteroids off course. So next time you see a shooting star, make a wish, maybe for pizza, or maybe that NASA keeps an eye on the sky, because history shows. The universe loves throwing rocks.